Hello, little friends. It's great to see you today. It is my favorite day of the week. It's the day when we get to read a story from my favorite book. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this, my favorite book is the stories that are about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And it starts with the letter B. Do you know the name of my favorite book? Every week, you know, it's the Bible. Yes. And so today we have another great story, a song from the book of Psalms. Can you say Psalms? Great job. So the book of Psalms is in the Old Testament, and this is the, one of the most famous ones. It's Psalm 23, and it's called The Lord is My Shepherd. And I'll have two pictures today for you, and we'll need to find our green wormy wormy. But before we do that, we need to point up to God the Father, and then make a cross for Jesus' Son, and flames for the Holy Spirit with a thumbs up. Amen. Are you ready to do that with me? Let's do it together. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everybody, here's our story for the day. It's called The Lord is My Shepherd. All right, here we go. David, the shepherd, loved his sheep. He led them to beautiful fields where they ran and played and jumped and kicked up their heels. They ate the lush green grass and feasted on delicious berries. They drank from cool mountain streams and splashed in refreshing waterfalls. David cared for each and every lamb. If one wandered off over the hill, David was quick to go and find it. He put the lost lamb on his shoulders and sang sweet songs and hummed soft melodies. Sometimes he played his harp and helped the tired lambs fall asleep. During times of danger, David fought against wild animals with only a slingshot and some stones. His sheep were not afraid because David was always with them. So here's our first picture for today. Do you see the sheep? And when you see the green wormy by the sheep, I want you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. Right here, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yep, David's job was to watch over the sheep. And so his job, his special name was to be a shepherd, a sheep herder, a shepherd. And so let's find out a little more. David thought about what he did as a shepherd and thought that God cares for people in many of the same ways that he cares for his sheep. One day, David wrote a song to tell everyone God is like a shepherd. God loves and cares for each and every one of us. And here's the song he wrote. God is my shepherd. He gives me all I need. He gives me wonderful places to rest and sleep. He lets me splash and play in cool, clear waters. He helps me to do what is right. I am not afraid even in the darkest nights because you are with me, God, and your protection comforts me. When danger comes, you give me strength. My life is filled with your love and all I want is to be with you my whole life long. David sang his song to his sheep, thankful for all the ways God loved and cared for him. So here's David. He's right over here. And there he is with his little musical instrument with his harp. And he's singing to his sheep who are sleeping in the night. And... I see a wormy sleeping too. Do you see the wormy? When you see the wormy, I want you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. Right, there's the wormy today. It's so dark, it's hard to see our green wormy. David was one who loved to sing. I wonder if you might make up a song about God and about God's love for you and for the whole world. That might be a fun thing for you to do this week. You might also think about all the ways that you know that God loves you and protects you. This is one of the most famous Psalms. We said that word already today. Can you say it with me? Psalm. 
great job. This is one of the most famous psalms, and I'm so glad I got a chance to share it with you today. It's time for us to pray, and then I'm going to tell you about what exciting story we're going to read next time. So let's do praying hands. You can either do them like this or like this. It's up to you. And when we pray, we pray knowing that we talk to God and that we listen to God. Even when we can't hear God speaking to us or we can't see God, we can have faith and know that God is listening to us. I love that about God, that God is always available to talk to. All right, repeat after me. Dear God, thank you that you are like a shepherd who loves and cares for all the sheep. Thank you for loving and caring for me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, it's time for us to end our story time the way we began. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. It's great to see you again, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.